I'm Gavin Scott, your host. Welcome to the Stay Outstanding podcast, the show that shares wisdom and gifts knowledge, motivates you to be your authentic self, influences you to fulfill your true potential, encourages you to take action, and inspires you to step into your greatness. Hello, welcome to the Stay Outstanding show. Today's episode is all about singularity of mindset. I've been in the resistance zone with my swimming of about five to six kilometers. And I chose today, no matter what, to break it. I've been at that resistance for about three to four weeks. It's been quite frustrating. I haven't really been able to get past it. My body has had a lot of cramps at that stage. It's, it's been very frustrating. I've tried more body salts. I've tried more bananas. I've tried tweaking my timing of nutrition. I've tried greater rest periods. So I built up over the last three or four days that today was going to be the day that I broke my resistance. I was gonna break through that wall. In marathon terms, you always hit a wall and I'm training for a 16 and a half kilometer open water marathon swim. What's been quite interesting is, no matter how strong the mind was, there was just a stage that my body wouldn't sort of allow me to continue. And it was very frustrating. Today was immensely interesting. I went down to the sea with the sole objective of breaking my resistance. And when I got to the sea, all I found was wavy choppiness. There weren't high winds, but there were waves and they were choppy. So, I was like, well, I'm not turning back now. I'm going to break my resistance no matter what. I set my target on the map, where I was going to swim to and back to ensure that I broke that resistance. And as I started my swim, the the currents, the waves, pushed me, rolled me, occasionally flopped me. And it was not the sort of water that you could have the best technique in, or at least not the technique that I've been learning. The technique I've been learning is all about endurance, about conserving energy, and about maximum propulsion. And I questioned, is today the right day? Should I continue? Should I just call it quits now and wait for a better day? And of course I had the mindset that today was going to be the day no matter what that I broke it. The sun potentially getting stronger through the day, potentially burning my back, 
potentially the body getting areas of soreness with the salt building up. And I chose then and there that I was there. I was present in that moment and that no matter what, I was going to achieve my goal. Now, for my open water marathon swim, you have to have a minimum pace of three kilometers an hour. Today, I didn't hit three kilometers an hour. Today, I beat my resistance. I got to 6.95 kilometers. But I didn't do it in style. I didn't do it in time. But my objective was singular. It was simple. Break that resistance. And I did. So why is singularity so important in mindset? Well, I believe it aids in determination, it aids in motivation, it assists the cognitive process because there aren't multiple subjects or elements that are needed to be fulfilled. There is solely one goal, one aim, one objective. And it is without question the reason why today I broke my resistance. Now, in your life goals, do you have that singularity? And if you don't, perhaps break down your goals in a way that you can create that singularity. Because without question, it will help you to achieve that goal. I think it's only natural as humans to overcomplicate where we are and where we want to be. There's so many factors in whichever part of life we're talking about or referring to. It doesn't have to be swimming. It can be in your financial world your steps to financial freedom. It can be in your relationships, what you hope to achieve or get from them. It can be in so many parts of life that we cease to see in the singular. And when it comes to mindset, I really and truly believe that this singularity is a determining factor in achieving one's goals. Building a foundation, one brick at a time. The stronger the foundation, the stronger the structure. The stronger the structure, the less likely that structure is to break down. Less likely the structure is to break. Just think about it for a moment. What is one of your goals in life right now? And how many factors 
do you take into consideration when looking to achieve that goal? I would suggest break down those factors and have a singular goal. Sure, it might be lesser looking from the outside, but in achieving that goal, you create the platform, the basis to the next time go on and add to that foundation. Add to achieving that objective with multiple factors. I know in marathon running and in the four minute mile, the four mile minute wasn't broken until Roger Bannister did it. And after that, people thought it was achievable and they began to run four minute miles. Something changed in people's mindsets because before Roger, Roger Bannister did, people weren't able to. Now, I'm not sure what perspective people took after Roger Bannister did the four minute mile. Could have been perhaps he did it and he's a runner just like me and he trains like me. He rests like me. He eats like me. I must be able to do it as well. I'm going to do it as well. And I think what you see there is a transition of the mindset into a singularity of objective. I am going to break the four minute mile. Not I'm going to do it in style. Not I'm going to break it by 20 seconds, 40 seconds. Not I'm going to be better than Roger Bannister. Solely and simply, I'm going to beat the four minute mile. So this singularity is such a strong aid if you want to reach your goals. As I said, I wasn't able to do my swim in federation time. Maybe, well, most certainly the sea had something to do with it. But I was able to take positives from what the sea was giving me. You know, in that propulsion method or technique that I mentioned, there's a lot of rotation in the body. It's a bit like a screw when you screw a screw in with a screwdriver. There's that rotation. And although today my technical swimming lacked rotation, the waves often allowed me to get that rotation naturally because they were rolling me. So I almost didn't have a choice. Now it did affect my speed because I was being thrown up, I was being thrown down, I was being thrown side to side, I was being taken back and forth. But I saw the positive. I think it's so easy to look at the negatives and say, oh, I didn't make Federation speed. Oh, I didn't have good technique today. Oh, the sea was in a 
state that didn't allow me to perform. But not once, not once did I have that mindset. My mindset was never negative. My mindset was purely positive. I am going to break my resistance. Oh look, this is interesting. I'm naturally feeling rotation from the way the waves are rolling me. What can I learn from this experience? How can I adapt in this situation to make the most of it? I think it's so powerful to really have that mindset that no matter what you're going to do, you're going to break that resistance or you're going to reach that goal. I think, and I've said this a few minutes ago, we complicate things so much and we don't need to. So here's my advice to you. Take your goals and break them down simply. Have a singular objective. Because the next time you swim, or the next time you run, or the next time you seek to improve on financial freedom, creating that income, having a better relationship, with friends, family. That idea of one step at a time is so important. Now I've hiked and climbed Kilimanjaro. I've been to Everest Base Camp, Advanced Base Camp, Mount Fuji, And I always maintained that hiking was easy. And everybody would say, oh, it's so far, it's so high. Surely the altitude gets you. Well, yes, it might do. None of us know at what altitude we may or may not get altitude sickness. But my strategy in hiking was always one foot in front of the other. That was it. If I was able to do that, I would get there. I would make it to that peak. I would make it to that summit. I would achieve my goal. One foot in front of the other. At the time, I wasn't so aware of mindset or analytical of mindset. But looking back on my hiking days, I can see that I had singularity in my purpose, in my goal. It was simple, one foot in front of the other. I've always kind of chosen to push my body and take on challenges that would take me out of my comfort zone. And I've always predetermined that I would succeed. I think the reason for my success is simple. I said from the outset, no matter what happens, I will make it. Now you can imagine in the, in the, in, in the grand scheme of things with hiking, if every step you take, I'm going to make it, 
I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Repeating that time and time and time again will actually bring you down. It will break down what you're trying to achieve. But that mentality, that adoption of mindset, that breaking it down to a single foot, one foot in front of the other, always saw me to fulfill my goal. So, listeners, I would love to hear what your goals are. I'd love for you to write in and tell me how you've experimented with breaking down your goals into much smaller, singular, structured goals and how you've got on and succeeded with them. Because you will succeed with them. There is absolutely no question. Okay, occasionally things outside of our control might intervene. But we cannot concern ourselves with what we cannot control. The only thing we can do is take into account what we can control. So from me to you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, remember, stay outstanding.